Hey John. How was that community event last night? What was it called again? Oh you mean the planning open house to review plan concurrency and facilitate the development of the definition of the long range planning parameters and community visions for the updated comprehensive plan. It was great. What was the planning open house to review plan concurrency and facilitate the development of the definition of the long range planning parameters and blah 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 about? Obviously, it was a public open house being held by the planning department to get the general public to help review plan concurrency and develop the community vision and planning parameters for the updated comprehensive plan update in order to help guide our long range planning. Thanks for clearing that up. How many people showed up? Seven. Except three of them were looking for the restaurant down the street. And two of them were co-workers who brought me a cappuccino on their way out to see a movie. It was a really really good coffee. But the other two were really interested and excited about the project. So two people showed up. Two really interested people. Okay. How did you tell the people of Clown Town about the meeting? I followed proper procedure. I put an ad in the legal section of the paper. It clearly stated that Clown Town is hereby providing legal notice as per the provincial requirements and the municipal notice bylaw. There will be a meeting open to the public regarding the regularly scheduled update to the municipal comprehensive plan and that the general public is invited to attend the meeting being hosted by the Clown Town Planning Department to facilitate the concurrency review and development of the definition of the long-range planning parameters and community visions for the updated comprehensive plan. Pretty inviting, isn't it? Outstanding. Thanks John. This is why we professional planners need to rethink how we design public processes and how we talk to people. You can visit civicblogger.blogspot.com to find out more.